Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has just announced that the only reason Turkish military forces have entered northern Syria is to end the rule of the tyrant al-Hassad. By publicly proclaiming that Turkey intends to use military force to overthrow the regime of Syrian President Bashar al-Hassad, Erdogan has essentially declared war on the Syrian government. Of course, this puts a member of NATO in direct military conflict with Russia since Russia is working very hard to prop up the Assad regime. If all-out war breaks out between Turkey and Russia, could that be the spark that causes World War III to erupt in the Middle East? And once Turkey and Russia starts fighting, would the United States and the rest of NATO be dragged into the conflict? The big mainstream news networks in the Western world are almost completely ignoring what Erdogan said on Tuesday. But without a doubt, this is very major news. Now, the following comes from a Turkish news source. The Turkish military launched its operations in Syria to end the rule of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said on November 29th. In my estimate, nearly 1 million people have died in Syria. These deaths are still counting without exception for children, women, and men. Where is the United Nations? What is it doing? Is it in Iraq? No. We preach patience but could not endure in the end and had to enter Syria together with the Free Syrian Army or the FSA. Turkish military forces have initially invaded northern Syria on August 24th of 2016 and at the same time we were all told that the purpose of the invasion was to fight ISIS. But now Erdogan is telling us something completely different. Breitbart is one of the few U.S. news outlets or major news U.S. outlets that's reporting on this story at all. Now, if the Turkish military is only in Syria to end the Assad regime, then presumably they will stay there until they get the job done. And this puts Turkey into a direct military conflict with Russia, Iran and Hezbollah, since all three of them are already fighting very hard to help the Assad regime. Of course, there is another reason why Turkey is in northern Syria, and that is to fight the Kurds. In fact, the Kurds in Turkey are both rushing to capture a little city northeast of Aleppo called El Bab, which is currently controlled by the Islamic State. But most people in the Western world don't know that Turkish soldiers are already dying in Syria. Here in the United States, tens of millions of Americans are hailing a new era of peace and prosperity now that Donald Trump has won the election. But the truth is that one false move in Syria could easily rouse tensions between the United States and Russia to the highest level that we have seen since the Cuban Missile Crisis back in the 1960s. If Erdogan would have just stayed out of Syria, we wouldn't be in such a perilous situation. Unfortunately, the president of Turkey is a narcissistic lunatic and he dreams of a day when the old Ottoman Empire will once again be restored. But his delusion of greatness threatened to make the Middle East even more unstable than it already has been. In addition to his remarks, that we mentioned earlier on Tuesday, Erdogan also called on all Muslims globally to embrace the Palestinian cause and protect Jerusalem. Most people in the Western world pay very little attention to Erdogan, but the truth is that he is a madman that is often referred to as Turkey's version of Adolf Hitler. He is extremely ambitious, extremely narcissistic, and he is a warmonger. That is a very dangerous combination, and I believe that it is only a matter of time before he starts a major war in the Middle East. Now, this is a very serious situation over there. Somebody needs to get this guy under control. But unfortunately, the Obama administration has been very hesitant to confront Erdogan about his outrageous behavior. When Erdogan openly stated that the Turkish military is in Syria to overthrow the Assad regime back on Tuesday, that was like lighting a match in a room that has already been doused with propane or gasoline. He needs to immediately retract those comments because his unique brain of lunacy has now brought us very dangerously close to the start of a real World War III. What do you think? Is this just Turkey showboating its military? Or could this situation over in Syria actually and factually lead us to World War III? Post your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.